Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from todaysiphone.com and this is your jailbreak news for today. Honestly guys, I have no jailbreak news to report this week, but I did want to talk to you guys about a topic and also give you guys a tweak to check out. Now, the topic I wanted to talk about was Apple's event yesterday. They announced the iPad 4th generation and the mini iPad. I feel like this might just complicate the jailbreak situation for iPhone 5 users and everyone else. Uh, that's on A5 devices and up, uh, just because now you have so many devices in the market, so many different uh, models. Uh, you know, you have to find, you know, a vulnerability with one of them that you can hopefully uh, get through on all of them. Now, that's normally the case, but I just, I'm concerned that it is going to be a tough uh, time this time around because you have, you know, six months later, you already have another iPad out. So maybe the jailbreak might not work for the third generation. It might work. Uh, only for the third generation, you know, things like that uh, is what's concerning me. Um, you know, if you're a owner of a uh, iPad 3 or um, an iPhone 5, how important do you think jailbreaking is? Do you, you know, are you really holding out for that? And the iPhone 4S owners, how many of you are sitting on iOS 5, you know, 0.1.1 with that jailbreak and not going to iOS 6? Uh, you know, I'm just concerned that jailbreaking right now is in a tough situation because of how many devices are on the market. That's not to say I doubt the developers, you know, I, people like Pod2G and, you know, somebody like Comex, they can figure stuff out. Um, Planet being, the, you know, the entire dev team is fabulous. So I'm not doubting them. I'm just saying that I feel like this is tough this time around, or a little bit tougher than the, the last times, because you normally had maybe one, maybe two devices, and maybe four different, like, versions. Um, yeah, and I mean, you literally have maybe like 16 when you think about, you know, Wi-Fi 3G, uh, Wi-Fi 3G on Sprint, Wi-Fi 3G on AT&T, things like that. Um, but this time you have individual devices and more of them. So, uh, you guys get the concept. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be tough for this time around? Uh, that's what I wanted to talk about today because honestly there was no news to report. Um, nothing has changed at this point in time. So, unfortunately, uh, that is all I have for today. But I do have a tweak for you guys to check out, and that tweak is swipe away. Basically, you know when you double press the home button, you get your multitasking switcher up, and you can see all the uh, suspended apps? Well, there's a tweak, a free one, called swipe away, that you can literally just use a gesture, and they will all close, uh, basically closing everything. So, for instance, a great time that you want to close things, that uh, suspended apps, is when you are in maps, and then you leave, and you're doing something else. You know, say you get to the location you're going. You want to definitely close it, just because it's still running, so you don't want that eating at your GPS and, well, mainly eating at your battery. So Swipe Away is absolutely free in Cydia. Uh, it's Swipe Away, all one word, put together. Uh, go check it out. Otherwise, you guys have a wonderful day. I'm sorry that this wasn't long and uh, there's no you know news to report, but you guys have a wonderful day again, and as always, peace.